Light the shit up. Light, 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 light the shit up. Let's go. Yo, 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 y'all should already know. It's your man, Hell on Wheels, the Hyped Up Hippies, coming to you live on a Monday here on Inwood, West Virginia, baby. 63 degrees outside, sun shining, man. That's what I'm talking about. All that rain, that snow, that winter nonsense, man. It's not made for wheelchair life. It's cold, it's wet. Get your chair in and out the car. It's just not made for me. So when you wonder why I'm quiet in the wintertime, man, I don't really want to talk. I'm... I'm uh, I'm something I'm working on in my life, trying to figure out how to make, make that time of year better for me, but it's just not something I do, man. I get in the gym and I keep grinding. Um, you know, shout out to my gym. Y'all see it. Winchester Boxing Fitness. Uh, Hell of has been there for, for solid six months now. It's there before the holidays, so I've been there for a minute. Uh, shout out to my team there. Uh, get me ready for the upcoming smoker that's going on there March the 12th. That's a Saturday. Action will start at 12 o'clock. Athletes, please contact Coach Dolman on Instagram or Facebook via Winchester Boxing Man. Reserve your spot. Um, it's going to go down. That's for sure. So super, super excited about that. But even before that, man, your man Hell on Wheels got a little birthday party going on March 4th and 5th. My birthday is March 4th. Um, March 4th and 5th is the top man competition at the Martinsburg Rec Center. Um, Hell on Wheels love the tough man competition. He goes out there and he causes a straight up scene. Um, and trust me, man, the cast at Winchester Boxing, they ain't never seen your Hell on Wheels in full effect. I mean, Doman, Ortiz, yeah. But uh, the rest of the guys, maybe not, man. I'm going to bust the braids out. I'm going to bust the tank top out, flex on some cats. I'm going to have me a good time. Um, it, it's gonna, it's, it's just gonna be fantastic. So, so that, that's what we've got working at least, uh, at least through March. And we, we also have a trip going out to, to Ashburn. I still got to meet with the coach on that. See, uh, see what it is there, but my team will be heading out to Ashburn. Hopefully Helen Wheels can find him a matchup out there as well. So maybe I can get, uh, get, get, get two, uh, two matchups in in one month, man. I've done that before. It shouldn't be an issue. My cardio is fantastic. Uh, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life right now. Getting ready to be 38 years old, uh, I just feel phenomenal. So I'm super, super excited for all of that. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't back up just a minute and give a few birthday shout outs. My hairstylist and my homegirl, Morgan's hair. Uh, happy birthday, Momo. Uh, my hippies, man, Jess and Lydia. Happy birthday to you lovely young ladies. I hope you had a blessed day. If your gentleman didn't make it a blessed day, they got to answer to have on wheels, okay? I can promise you that. Um, the other thing that we got going on, um, myself and Coach Norman, we've reached out to all three major adaptive boxing, aka wheelchair boxing organizations overseas. Uh, Great Britain, the WBC out in the UK, and a promotion out in Mexico City, Mexico. Uh, we, we're waiting on some responses back and setting some dates and, and lining up some flight plans and things as such. But I believe you're going to see uh, Hell on Wheels on the international stage this year. I don't have much doubt on that. Um, so I'm super, super excited uh, to go out there and do that. It's been a goal of mine since I started this deal. And anybody that trained with me back when I started this deal knew that's that's where we were headed. Um, I got my passport. I got my vaccine card. Heck, I have my passport. I already had flight tickets booked. I already had flight booked. And COVID hit. So, you know, COVID's been lifted. There's a lot of people online that get themselves one fight in a barber shop or in the back of something or, or whatnot, and then they want to call themselves the best in the world. Well, man, I'm here to give y'all the opportunity just to see that. I know these guys know who I am. Uh, you know, Street Beast was a huge platform for me. Shout out to the guys at Street Beast, you know, Scarface and Sunshine and Omar and Esteban. Uh, shout out to you guys for giving me that platform for, for, for making this a reality for me, for people to know my name. Um, but really, man, I, I, I can't wait to, uh, to have the opportunity to represent my country out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of people hear my intros from my, my Street Beast fights and, and, and my antics and that they think that I'm this or I'm that. Man, you don't know. You, you don't know. Um, regardless where I've trained in the last, going on three years, 
It's not the YMCA boxing program. They're not giving me a blue ribbon because look at the little guy in the wheelchair comes out and tries to train fight. No, no. Nah, man, I'm held to the same standard, if not a higher standard, than everyone uh, in my training facility. And, and I need that, honestly, that, that pressure, that push. Uh, I worked my tail off. Those of you that forget, I used to weigh about 250 pounds. Uh, I've worked my tail off for this opportunity. I'm still working on my skills. I still have a ton and a ton to learn, but we're getting better every week, man. Every week, I feel like I'm just taking another baby step. Um, taking another baby step. Sorry about that. I had messages coming through um, regarding the smoker there on the 12th, man. I might be able to have several matches up there. We'll see what's up. Um, but man, this this boxing game is just it's it's been good to hell on wheels, man. And I'm looking to to see how far it would it would take me. How cool would it be to go from the backyard fight club to representing your country? Wheelchair boxing is not a Paralympic sport. Please tell me why, right? Um, it should be, right? But there's a lack of competitors, and then you know, well, people that are handicapped shouldn't already be fighting. Man, I'm here to, I, I want to go out there and I want to put on a show and I want to help that become a reality for the next generation of cats coming up, man. Um, so that they're able to uh, to compete in something other than wheelchair basketball. No no offense to anybody who plays wheelchair basketball. Please don't at me. Wheelchair basketball is a great sport um, and it's played everywhere. But I, I, I personally appreciate the variety and the boxing game, man, it's fitness for life. It's self-defense. Um, and, and it's really helped me in so many facets of my life. My confidence, my swagger, my conditioning, my ability to do just basic tasks, man. My arms have gotten so long, they're not even in the picture anymore. I can't easily touch the ground from my chair, right? None of y'all think about that. But you're in a wheelchair, you drop something on the floor. If you can't reach down and pick it up, you got a problem. Come and see me. I can help you fix those problems. Um, so, so just uh, super excited to, to to get out there internationally, man. Rep my gym, rep my country, uh, and show everybody what Hell on Wheels is made of. Um, because I haven't put all this work in just to sit on the sidelines, man. Um, and anybody can talk whatever they like about me, and that's all well and good. But nobody, and I mean nobody, will ever doubt my work ethic, man. No, nah, I mean, I don't care what facility I was training at. If you, if you came in there, you knew Hell on Wheels was in there working, period, point blank. He was probably in there before you, and he probably left after you uh, because that's how serious I take this. As far as my guy Challenge goes, um, he's been taking a little break, uh, dealing with his family, uh, some family situations he's got going on. Um, I promise you, you'll see him again. Shout out Chase Hill, King of Mountain State. For having you know me and Keenan out as well as my man uh, my man AB congratulations to my man AB on that pro contract he's got his first pro fight and his pro debut coming up on April the sixteenth y'all folks make sure you order that pay per view that's uh that that's a great young man a uh, respectful young man I, I I love him dearly right I make the jokes that you know him and Keenan they my legs um th those guys are a blast man we made so many memories uh. Going up through that Kingdom Mountain State tournament, man, it was, guys, it was one of the best times of my life, man. We just had an ever loving blast. Um, so I look forward, I look forward to uh, to, to getting back at that. Um, we're also looking into venturing Hell on Wheels into some sit down comedy. That's right, I ain't standing up. It's culturally biased. My people sit the fuck down. Um, so if you're out there, man, you're interested in booking Hell on Wheels, low up with Mike Nain, little comedy skit, or even commentary behind the desk. Again, Hit up Winchester Boxing on Instagram or Facebook, and they will get you in touch with Hell on Wheels, man. Um, same thing anybody's looking to fight me. Hit up Mike Doman, Instagram, Facebook, Winchester Boxing. You hit me up and talking all this nonsense, I ain't going to respond to you. Internet trash talk is not what I do. Um, previously, the organization that I fought with, I had a lady, and I always told that lady, I said, hey, I'll never talk smack on the internet. Never. Because then when somebody was in her inbox talking smack, her immediate response was always, what date would you like to fight? Because she knew I didn't talk that nonsense. And somebody, you know, was just trying to trying to build a fight. I, I don't feel like there's a need to build a wheelchair fight, man. You're, you're not Roy Jones Jr. You're not Floyd Mayweather. It's going to be what it's going to be. There's no running. You're going to get hit. I'm going to get hit. 
Let's see who's got what. So so that, that's where the no trash talk comes from. So please don't take the intros um, and the swag the wrong way. I'm a straight grinder. Um, and again, anybody that I train with will, will go ahead and attest to that. But if you are interested in that, please, please let me know. Like I said, shout out to my man, Coach Doman. As soon as we get the word back from these international orgs, man, we will be, uh, you will definitely be hearing from me. Aunt Nelly, you're going to owe me a cake when I go down there and bust somebody's ass. That's real talk. But other than that, man, I've just been living my life, guys. Y'all got to remember, man, it, all of us guys, you know, we, we just normal people. We got to go to work. We got to raise our kids. We, we, we just normal people, man. Um, trying to get it done. There's a possibility of an event going down uh, in Clems, Michigan there. The Mock Gym. Uh, with uh, Mr. Gary Sparkman and Jesse Sparkman. We're still trying to work some details out on that. Um, but, man, we're looking forward to that. All right, Those guys, I haven't seen in person, but I've seen it via Instagram and Facebook. They got a beautiful facility, including the boxing camp in there. Uh, so if you're out there in that Michigan area, please look them up, man. Nothing better you can do with your time than go in the boxing gym and get some work. That's for sure. If you have any questions, comments for you, man, Helen Wheels, please leave them in the comments below. Drop me a like on the video. I promise you're going to hear a lot more from me here soon. I do apologize to those fans that, that felt like I had disappeared. Uh, Helen Wheels ain't going nowhere. Y'all should already know Helen Wheels is two things. He don't run, and he's always getting that money.